You don't know the power of the dark side. All right, time starts now. So, continuing on through Daniel's list, he's got TLT on Miranda long range scanners to set up a, you know additional modification, bomb generator, and C3PO. C3PO is pretty pretty crucial in, in his list because against harpoons, Miranda's got a really good chance of survival. So Marcos is going to be looking to take out Lorik pretty quickly. Uh, you know, because between the reinforce with selflessness and draw their fire and reinforce, Miranda can easily evade plus C3PO. So Lower shot, draw their fire, and Ray. So he's going to be banking tokens as he likely travels along the board edge. I think the best option for Daniel is to was probably to turn you know to the other other side of the board edge and go down. Either way, they're going to be they're going to be skirting around the asteroid field for the majority of the game. Marcos is definitely looking to gum up the asteroid lanes with bombs uh, launched from trajectory simulator and he definitely wants to get all of his ordnance off so he's got four harpoon missiles oh yeah Jess has an uh, integrated astrogenic and an M9G8 for rerolls so we can see Miranda's target locking uh, Daniel's Miranda's target locking Marcos's Miranda oh whoops let me move this because Daniel has initiative so, Daniel's Miranda's going to be able to regen first as she shoots first. So this could be a brutal match. A brutal match. I think they... Uh, I think we ended up having closer to 130. We didn't have enough to make the... Uh, top 32 cut for tomorrow, so it's just going to go to 16. But at the same time, they are going to have a side event, uh, a tournament as a side event. So if you, I think they said if you make it to a certain point today, you get a free entry into that tournament. It's going to be cool. It's going to be a long day, but it's going to be cool. Four rounds tomorrow instead of five. But the finals is a two hour long match. Oh, Daniel's gonna take her out through the asteroids here. Interesting obstacle placement. It definitely favors Marcos as he's got a lot of room to work with on his side of the board. So it's gonna be interesting to see where Daniel chooses to uh, engage his formation. But he's just going to slow, not slow play, just go slow uh, for a little while so you can bank tokens on Lorik. But Jess has the rerolls uh, from her ability because she's going to be at range one of uh, Lorik and Miranda. She's going to get two rerolls, at least in the beginning engagements. And then she gets, depending on. Uh, who just chooses to target lock. I think... Maybe Miranda there? No, Miranda's got target lock on them. Maybe just target locked Lorik. Marcos is definitely going to be gunning for Lorik first. 
Yeah, Lorik is really, really quintessential to this list. Uh, provides a ton of, a ton of tankiness. So, uh, if I were Daniel, I would be all guns on Nim, all guns on Nim, because trajectory simulator genius is, is tough to get around. been recording for well into 12 hours by the time this math is over. Holy wow. I'm going to try to head all the matches up on YouTube within the week. Uh, Premiere Pro is giving me some finicky issues right now, so we'll see how it goes. Again, if you like our overlays, they are designed by a gentleman called David Carver. He runs the, uh, um, pretty much the, the development process for uh, this Xtreamer app. You can find it on GitHub at Nine Worlds slash Xtreamer. Let me go ahead and pull up his link so you guys can take a look. Uh, rather to donate if you like it. It's an open source program, so it's free and available to, for everyone to use. So if you're thinking about wanting to get into local recording and uh, you've been looking for an over to lose, use this is, this is definitely a great one. Like I said, it's free, it's easy to use, and uh, there are uh, tutorial videos of how to use it on the internet currently. So if you like it, uh, feel free to uh, give a donation to uh, Dave and uh, he would greatly appreciate it. It helps keep this program uh, open source and helps fund all the other streamers and and uh, hosts who are using it as well. Daniel not wasting any time getting that asteroid field. In the meantime, Marcus is taking his time with his formation there. He's definitely going to try to concentrate to get his harpoons off. Oh, very nice, right in front of the asteroid. Nice and tight. Like a glove. No, so it's uh, it's really interesting uh, to see what Marcus is gonna do here. There's a lot of time in the round here. Marcus is definitely going to attempt to get two harpoons off at the same time. At least onto Lurik. Interesting slam. He may choose to take the top lane with Miranda. And you can see Nim is going to attempt to probably come through that lane and have sort of a, a Y type engagement, perhaps to the asteroid field. But it's still early enough that he doesn't have to commit to it. Oh, nope, there's a barrel roll, so it keeps him keeps him open to either banking into the asteroid field or away from the asteroid field down towards the bottom of the board edge. The decision that Daniel has hopefully already made is uh, whether or not he's going to go after Nim first. Marcus wasting no time to get dials down. Daniel's thinking about whether to engage, continue engaging into the asteroid field. Uh, one forward, one forward, one forward from everybody seems to be a good idea until Nim does that three forward or two forward and launches trajectory simulator to block out that the lane on the right. One forward. Mm, it's it's tough. It's tough. I almost wonder if Daniel's trying to drag Marcus into the asteroid field, and he'll just end up two banking away. I don't think Jess 
hits that asteroid on a two bank, but it's it would be really close. He's he's taking some time here. I don't think this is the position that he wanted to end up in. Yep. Chuck Norris, you're right. Yeah, he does not want to eat ion bombs. So uh, Daniel's trying to uh, A, avoid splitting up his formation in such a way that he can't get it recovered back by the time Marcos engages. He's also trying to B, avoid hitting these asteroids as he chooses to either pursue the top of the board or the bottom of the board. Uh, I'm not so sure he wants to do a one forward here because then it tells Marcos which way he's definitely going to have to go unless he you know, wants to go over a rock early on. Yeah, I agree. Dino needs to faint and uh, pursue the bottom of the board. So, uh, But Marcos is prepared for that. He does give Nim plenty of room at the top there, so he can just go one forward and, and react to wherever uh, Daniel's formation is going to go. So, mm, they're all set. What are we doing here? Are you banking away? Two turn? Uh oh. Just can still boost out of the way. Yep, that's what you'll do. So that's right, you're a uh, good call with that feint there. Ooh. One bang from Lorik? What? What? Oh, okay, I see what they did. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So they just, you know, they they pick Lorik up just to mark it, so Miranda can get her maneuver through. I think a two bank would have been a little bit better for uh, Lorik there. It's not bad because he should be able to set up the three forward and still have a a nice nice angle at the back of the formation there. Mmm. Here comes Miranda. I'm thinking of slam here. Yep. Yep, so Miranda's gonna take that lane up top. Uh, she could very likely close off that lane on the right. Yep, there's the Nim with the one forward. I'm gonna react to wherever that formation's going. Ooh. Yeah, he doesn't want Nim exposed. So I think he's gonna try to go for the one two punch and hit Ordnance once per round at least on a lower who's now in the back of the formation which is where Daniel wants lower to be in the f first round of engagement yeah Marco's not wasting any time getting his dials down he's thinking a little bit but he's pretty decisive So I think he may have taken the bait a bit early, but it's still there's still a ton of time left. I mean, 15 minutes in, this is round four of the turn. So what Daniel hasn't been doing is uh, banking focus tokens on Ray. Uh, maybe it was just for that round he took the reinforce. He's got three tokens on Ray right now. Nim is still in a really good position here. Uh, he He's still far away enough from the asteroid field that he doesn't have to commit to it. Uh, so I imagine it could be one bank and then barrel roll towards Marcos' side of the board with Nim. Miranda could just two bank and catch up 
with formation as quickly as possible because she'll she'll get that ordnance strike off if she's quick about it. I'm I think a three forward might be too or a three forward a three bank to Miranda's left might be a bit too fast. Uh, I'm not sure how it'll look with that asteroid being about four bases in front of her. Jess with a big turn. Yep, focus right there is a good choice. Lower it four forward. Yep. <clears throat> This is good. This is good. It's going to be really interesting. I think Miranda's going to be able to do the two turn now. Uh oh. It's a miniatures game. These guys are exhausted. That's the excuse I'm going to use now. They've played five rounds already. Mm, I've already been here for just about 12 hours. Darn near it. So I can't imagine Miranda doing anything else but a two-turn. Mm, he's debating on whether he wants to reinforce the rear with Lurik or take a focus. And I think he's going to grab a focus. Yep. Yep, it's not a bad play there. So all of Daniel's squad gets to move before Marcos. So I'm I'm not sure if Miranda's gonna be able or Marcos is Miranda is gonna be able to get her harpoons off onto Lorik this round. Nope, she's going the other way. I'm gonna slam two turn. Ooh, Daniel. If Daniel can catch Nim, eh, that'll be that'll be really good. But I don't know if it's gonna happen. <clears throat> uh, so interesting to see the two bank slam from Miranda. That means the one bank is gonna put him just in front of. Yep, there's the one bank from Nim. Now you can barrel roll to the left or right. Yep, he's going back towards Marcus. Yeah. So the way that Marcus is Miranda's position right now. Uh, I mean, a two turn the left isn't bad. Oh, yep. Miranda's going to have a, a shot. Yeah, Daniel's Miranda's going to have free shots at Marcus's Miranda. Marcos is definitely trying to set up a pincer movement here. Really good job feinting. Marcos is Miranda though, and getting getting that Miranda to commit through the asteroid field. Because now, if Miranda does a one bank that puts her in front of the asteroid, well, not quite. There's one TLT going through. So one shield from Marcos is Miranda, who does not get to regen this turn. And there's another one going through if... I can't tell where it is. Nope. Okay. Just one shield. I think Miranda uh, for Marcos is going to be a, in a tricky spot in this next turn. So Miranda, one bank left. Almost puts her in front of the asteroid field. I think Nim's going to go forward here. Trajectory simulator. This match is going to be grueling. So these players are are tired. They have to stay. They have to stay alert if they want to make it. It's good. This is you know, this is the type of game that really is a testament to the players in the community and how far they're either willing to analyze or overthink a particular situation and uh, and come out the victor. That's what's really good about 
wargaming and tactics games. Banga. Focus token on Ray. Technically, it is a little bit of a fast play, but I don't think Marcos is going to have a problem letting Daniel uh, bank Ray there because he put his dials down rather quickly. These guys are good sports, though, so fussing over something like that is a little silly. All right, so Marcos is Miranda. In order for her to regen a shield, I don't think he's going to like where a two bank to the left puts her. She might be able to two turn. She's still looking at an asteroid, though, after a two turn. So two turn, yeah. Two turn and go the other way. Marcus is Miranda is not in the greatest position here. I think the the two turn slam instead of the two bank slam uh, was definitely a better option. Just because it gives them a better angle of engagement. Hmm. This is a really good game. Because Daniel's at the point where he's able to be a little bit of annoyance to Marcus's Miranda. I say, hey, better watch out. I got TLTs too. And I shoot before you. He's going to bring... Oh, so Miranda... Miranda and Jess, one bank. Lorik, two turn. Yeah. He's going to avoid the trajectory simulator. Ooh, he three turned there. Okay. Bringing Lower Rick around really fast. That uh, more than likely gets Lower Rick out of TLT range. Yeah, because I just I just don't think I can see Marcos dialing in that two turn right now. Because where that puts Miranda, well, he could do it, and then she might be able to have enough enough range for the Whoa. Huh. It's hard. It's really hardest to go back to sleep if you've been sleeping like. Alright, was not expecting that. Alright, so it still keeps Daniel's Miranda in range one of Lowrick. We're going to see if Marcos decides to two turn with Miranda here. Yep. We'll see if that position is nice. Nope. Not good. I think Miranda has TLT range to lower it, though. That's going to be really close. I'm not really sure if that's going to hit Miranda or not. He's got low rec target locked with Nim. It doesn't mean he can't hit Miranda here. Oh, what? Oh, he took a focus. Okay. I thought, he was, I thought he was pre measuring range for some reason. I didn't see the focus till just then. Yep. A shield because of Sabine. Yeah, you gotta go for. You gotta go for a Nim here. Regen a shield. Yep, it's gonna hit. Nim takes one. Spend a long range scanner target lock. Take another. Nim's down to three shields. That's what you gotta do.
Is it range? I can't tell. Mm. Yep. Five dice attack, harpoons. This is not what Daniel needs right now. I can't tell what he rolled. It's like three hits. Spin the lock. Guidance chips for five. Four. He also didn't pass a focus from Ray. So one evade. Taking three is harpooned. Yeah, that's uh, that's tough. So Nim is going to use Dead Eye harpoons against Miranda. Yep. Guidance ships. That's tough. But um, good luck getting this to hit because this is with the silly shenanigans. So C to Rio guess zero. Spend the focus. Does she have a focus? I don't remember if she has a focus. Evade from reinforce. I don't. I thought she took a focus. Draws their fire, activates a harpoon. Yeah, not good. I don't think you would have drawn their fire here. So one, two. Three. To Lorik. Uh, Jess and Miranda will also take one because of uh, harpoons. check on shield hall after this and that is not the engagement that daniel wanted he definitely wanted to uh definitely wanted to evade uh nim's shot or uh miranda's shot jess i uh, can't see because you're not using the dice tray uh pretty good hit, hit crit against nim uh two natural leads wow Wow, that is not the best exchange for Daniel. Miranda's going one forward. Yeah, not good. Now the question for Marcos is, where is his Miranda going to go? Uh, to turn. He'd probably just go three forward here. I don't know if it's going to clear the asteroid, but... Having a shot is better than not having a shot with TLT, plus you get a regen. So, uh, one ion bomb is gone. So, it has extra munitions still available. Mm, yeah, this is not going much in Daniel's favor right now. I'm going to double check Call Shield.
So, a lot of funky stuff just happened there. Uh, please fill us in, Andrew, on what, what just happened. Cause All right, so I was uh, actually right above that table watching it, and I was kind of processing in my head, and everyone knows harpoons are fun. Um, so, Lorik had the harpoon condition. Mm -hmm. Nim attacked Miranda with harpoons. Um, L Daniel decided to use draw their fire on one of the crits on the attack on Miranda, and they resolved the harpoon condition that was on Lorik already. However, the attack can only condition will only resolve when that ship is hit by an attack. Lorik is not hit by an attack. He is suffering the results of an attack on Miranda. Just a little clarification for everyone. Um, hopefully didn't confuse anybody too much more than that. Awesome. So the game state's repaired now. Everybody game state's repaired. Right? did okay. move on. Like I said, I was sitting there the whole time. I just was kind of processing it in my mind before I stepped in and wanted to make a decision on a game. I don't want to interfere unless there's a right. judge call or blatant rules issue. Right. What a hell of a day to be a judge. Man. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, I'll find out what's going on with Dion. Give me a second. Matt Allen James Jones on his stream. Are you guys not able to view it? I think he's playing right now. All right, so a little bit more of a favorable, favorable, favorable situation for Daniel here. A lot less damage, but uh, there's still a trajectory simulator coming at Daniel's formation. Yeah, Trajectory Simulator is really, really powerful. So, there's still plenty of time. Uh, Daniel's thinking that he's going to take a Trajectory, blah, blah, trajectory Simulator. Uh, probably Thermal Detonator. Of course, you could just Ion again. But that's okay because even though... Oh yeah, Nim does have twin laser turret. Mm. It's going to be interesting to see what Marcos does with his uh, Miranda there as they leave green dice in the tray. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure Dion's playing right now. He's not at his, not at his uh, stream table, but he does have a, a stream up right now. Daniel trying to plan out where that trajectory simulator is going to end up. And I... Yeah, just did fire on, on Nim. Uh, Nim rolled the two evades. Ooh, what are you doing with Jess? One forward. Uh, slow rolling it. Okay, setting up for the range one to Nim. Oh yeah, fits in there nicely. Lurk's definitely going to want to reinforce the front here. Because the crits are coming in. Miranda's eye on. Yeah, um, I don't know about a three bank, a three forward, but would have been fantastic, especially because here comes the trajectory simulator uh, from Nim, followed by one forward. Yeah, lots of damage, and it just tears formations up badly, badly. But uh, I think Marcos is Miranda two turns to the right here. Oh, yeah. I, I can't see lower glassing through this round. Uh-oh. Is he going to overlap that asteroid? Yep. 
Yeah, but she'll be able to recover it with TLT. Taking one. Yep, so another shield off of Which is down to one shield. So end of activation, all three get one. Who's he gonna Sabine? to be in there. I'll find out. Mm. Console fire. Nothing. If you're Marcos, you probably want to waste a... Uh, or did you not waste? You probably want to spend uh, harpoons here. Yep, Miranda going to Nim. Ooh. One evade. Wow. So, regens the shield. Wow. Yeah, his dice aren't doing too well there. Yeah, you needed to put, needed to put more damage on the Nim. Yep, gonna harpoon Lorik. So, reinforced to take two plus an additional one. Yep, so. It doesn't spend the reinforce, it just adds an evade result. So, it would take hit crit. I don't know if he was Sabine, though. So it takes hit crit from Harpoon. Harpoon condition triggers, giving everything else one damage at range one. So if he Sabined Lorik from the bomb, Lorik's dead. Yep. So that's that's who he ended up using Sabine. Oh, harpoons are so ridiculous. Yeah, harpoon does trigger before lower dies. That's what they're discussing now. Oh, here's a good question too. If you if you have, for example, two hull remaining, and you get four damage dealt onto you, three hits and a crit, for example, the crits would trigger harpoon. But so harpoon harpoon basically triggers before anything else. Let me double check this. Hold on. Let me double check. Uh, where are you? Where are my condition cards? Uh oh, I don't know where they are. Oh no. I don't know where my condition cards are. That's right, they're figuring it out right now. Oh my, <laughs> here comes Andrew again. All right, so another fun harpoon thing. Um, <laughs> so the ship had the harpoon condition, was hit and destroyed with an attack that had a critical result. So their question was, the first part of harpooned is if you're suffering uncanceled crit, 
you take a dan you take a face down and everyone else suffers a damage. The second part of it is when you are destroyed, everyone suffers a damage. So in, in essence, he got two damage onto the ships at range one from nuking the ship with a crit and destroying him from one attack. Just a little bit of clarification since harpoons are so much fun. Yep. <laughs> Best part about it is that two minutes ago. Wow. Wow, that was, that was nuts. And no just reroll. Mm. Yeah, Daniel's not in such great shape here. Mm, cocked eye? Mm, nope. Wow. My goodness. Alright, so I'm gonna go get updated whole shield value. Uh, of course, Lyric's dead. So both Jess and Miranda have zero shields. It's not looking good for not looking good for Daniel here. Nim is down to one shield. It's probably the worst matchup for Daniel to have trying to make it in the top 16 too. But that's X Wing, it happens sometimes. So it does have a four health Jess, uh, three base plus integrated astromech with MIGA. Harpoon trigger is silly. <laughs> it really is. Uh, good bomb drop there from Miranda. Now I think Nim's probably just going to do a two turn here towards Marcos's board edge. That would be. Well, I don't know. Uh, not a two turn. Um, the two bank towards uh, Daniel. Uh, those are some of the, uh, Drops a bomblet. Nope. I'm sorry. Uh, Marcus is Miranda has a bomblet. So both the uh, harpoons are gone from Marcus's name. But he's going to get. I didn't see him check range there. Uh, to Miranda. Where's Nim going? Forward and. Nope, banking. Making away, yep. And just barrel roll. I'm gonna start chipping away at Jess here. Uh, so now is when you could genius. I would genius here. Drop a, either a thermal debt or an ion bomb. And that's what he's doing right now. Yep. Yeah, genius is still really, really good. Marcos must have had some very interesting matchups for him to end up going three and two, especially at 99 points. Ooh, he takes a focus there instead of barrel rolling out. This is what? What is going on? Is he going to hold that bomb? So bomb was going. It's uh, two or one. One, so no shields on him. But on the actual output, it's not showing that. Uh-oh. Um, 
gonna go get in and just give him a time. out what Dion's got going on with his setup. Good roll there. And then he's extra agile. So, hmm. Daniel's, Daniel's attack dice are just not being good for him right now. I'm gonna go get updated wholesale value just real quick. Alright. Jess has two haul. Plus integrated Astromech still, but I'm not sure she's going to be able to get around in time. Drop a bomb just because. Mm. I think you may, may slam here. That's not a bad option. Hmm. Uh, so no more ion bombs for Nim either. some shots here as well as two bombs well two potential uh, damage from bomblet this game is far from over what is the chance keep for what in the hell <laughs> I don't even know one nothing wow that's tough Mm, that's silly. Ren Regens. Marcos. Rules and Vane. Wow, that is like the third or fourth time he's he's blanked out. Rolls another evade. Yep. Sometimes the dice gods just hate you. Sometimes they really go in your favor. Yeah, 
yeah, he's had a, some pretty interesting dice rolls, but at the same time, the formation um, the formation really crumbled because of a trajectory simulator. Nim spending a focus for two. Taking one on Jess. Oh, nope. Yep, there's one on Jess. Jess is down to one plus integrated. He also did not force an M9G8 reroll, which I thought was interesting. Harpoons to Miranda, burning a shield. This should. Uh, oh! So C-3PO gets zero, we got one, one shield, and one to hull. So Miranda should have two left. Oops. But, his Miranda did just burn a shield, so. Harpoon doesn't trigger, there wasn't a crit dealt there. Uh, Marcus's Miranda has used all of her harpoons as well. Yep, wasted no time to get dials down. Approaching just under 25 minutes. Yeah, tough, tough match for uh, Daniel here. Marcus's legit. Oh my goodness, Marcus's Miranda does not have shields. Is there a talent roll here? Oh yeah. Jess being Jess. Try to trap Marcus's Miranda and do some damage. Oh man, if if Daniel can get Miranda off the board here, uh, I don't know if it's you know going to be a thing, but there there is always a chance. There is always a chance. Mm. Oh, this is close. Nim Talon roll. Yep. Get back in the fight. Oh, this is close. So I think Marcos is going to be able to PS kill Jess. Ugh. Man. All right, Daniel, what you got? Regening a shield. Not putting, just putting one through. And another, another evade. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These guys are having fun. If you can't, can't hear them in the background, laughing their butts off. They're having, they're having a good time. Two on two. Jess. Nothing. Gotta burn the integrated here. Unless you have reroll. Not quite. Ugh. Like a millimeter. Gotta burn the integrated. Yep. There goes integrated. Nope. And there goes Jess. Mm. Yeah, uh, against two TLTs. Yeah, it's, it's 
it's very, yeah, no, very, very tough uphill battle. What am opening joust? Uh, he didn't joust. He came in through the bottom of the asteroid field and turned away, but his, Marcos was able to get low rig with a five dice harpoon shot. Shit. Yeah. yeah, he got all four of his uh, harpoons off. So, Dang. yep. Oh, dropped the bomb first. Yeah, there you go. Still not quite over yet. Marcos cannot shoot with his Miranda, so the maximum amount of damage that Marcos is going to be able to do is two with his TLTs. Miranda recovers one, going to do a damage to Nim. Nim is down to three. She recovers a shield. Ouch. Is there an evade there? Nope. He finally does does some damage to Nim. Oh. Miranda does have two shields though. Not anymore. Go. Oh. I think Miranda's down to one shield. Oh my goodness, this is nuts. Oh, this is nuts. Okay, so if. Uh, I think uh, he still barely loses out by nine points in MOV. If he's able to take out Nim, ugh, I, don't, I don't know. This is a really tight one. So uh, Marcos definitely has to avoid the bomblet here. His Miranda is going to be out for a turn or two. Yeah, but if you're Daniel, you're definitely like you're definitely hoping bomblet hits. So you just do one one forward after you drop your bomblet. One forward focus. Got to have shots on them. No bomblet. Okay, there it is. Yeah. They got to figure it out. They know what they're doing. Yep, I think Margos is going to end up just doing a one forward here. Or that. And try to barrel roll out of TLT range. Yep. I think he's going to be able to do it there. And close. So now, Daniel has to play the catch-up game. Is there range? No. Nope. Yeah, if I was Daniel, I would just keep dropping bombs, keep Marcos and Miranda at bay for a little while, and just slam and chase and chase them. There's, you know, 15 minutes left. It's going to be really tough to get damage on the board. This is a really good game, but uh, such an uphill battle right now. Yeah, it just shows you that, you know, the power of genius. Genius is still really good in conjunction with trajectory simulator because you have the extra munitions to drop drop a bomb before or after your move so 
Genius. Oop, just discard the token. It's silly. It's silly. So when Francois won in uh, Wisconsin, it was a little bit uh, of a different variation than Marcos's list. But bottom line, it still accomplishes the same thing. Man, this is an intense game. How'd your last round go? Terrible. Ouch. Two and five. Or two and four. And wow. Get, yeah, I did terrible. Flying quick draw rack? Yeah. Oh, man. I couldn't. Just, I suck. It's a long day. I'm so certainly not Dallas Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Are you coming back tomorrow? No, I'm probably not. I'll probably go home. Oh. Because I got, I, I should, I know. <laughs> After the train wreck that I did to the team Met Kellers in California, I have no business being on the stream. <laughs> oh, that's big. Nim Talon rolled here. Okay, so it's pretty much going to go into time. Okay. Uh, Marcos is going to be able to bring his, his Miranda's at the top of the board now. He's going to be able to turn his Miranda in towards the asteroid field. Is this a move and a slam? Um, I couldn't tell. That's just a move. Daniel probably just focuses here. Okay, that was just a move. Not a, yeah. He wasn't slamming that. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Nim using the last of his thermal detonators. Yeah. Because why not? As long as he doesn't... I mean, he doesn't have to set it off because it's not going to go off. So he doesn't means, care. He doesn't right. care if it goes forward. His then... extra munitions are gone too. Oh goodness. Yeah, he's like, come and get me. Right. Good luck. You know, and Marcos has to be. I don't. I. I really don't understand how this matchup happened. What happened with? Fiorentini would happen with Marcos. You've been watching get, the whole time, right? What am I missing? No, I mean like for them to get to their three and two states. You know. Oh. As as. Uh. I don't know. Having f flown Nim Miranda, you, your offense really does come from the bombs, mm. and if you cannot really really set those up well and not screw that up, because you're just, I know it's two TLTs, but it's not gonna get it done, and then you're fighting yourself with Miranda half the time. Regenning a shield off it anyway. He got two five dice attacks off with harpoons from Miranda. Right, you. That's insane. That, that's that's where if 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 that's not where your punch is coming from, and if so, if the other opponent's denying that, then the bombs have to do the work. And I if the, I'm going by the picture. I could have gone five and one with the same list in California, but in each mast, I missed a single bomb trigger, like in a certain scenario, and then it ended up costing me the game each time. So you've got, and so I was asking Marcus about it. I just go, you don't, you're too squishy. You don't have room for for any errors. He says, yeah, you, it's a hard, it's a very hard list to fly. Yeah. Uh, so while I enjoyed it, it was too much over the course of the day. Which is interesting. Like you know, Francois flew it really well in in uh, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. um, I enjoyed watching that, especially against the Crimson Specialist and Nim Build. A different variation than than what's being flown today. But, man, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to have to ask him what his matchups were. Well, one was against Phil Horney, and Phil just charged in there, and his countdown wouldn't die. Um, just super, Ugh. super hot dice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, yep, crits all day. No big deal. So... So, so Marcos was kind of bummed about that because he thought he played it pretty well, but Phil's dice were just nuclear. Phil's a, Phil's a good player, too. Yeah, and uh, that's, that's rude. It's rude when you have a good player and his dice are high. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about rudeness, Gordon? Uh, it takes one, takes one to know one, <laughs> yeah, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, I am an plans, How can Where's I speak upon something unless I myself am an authority? Mm -hmm. Mike Jones, everyone, giving me a hard time, as Mike does. Mm -hmm. All the I'm time. asking for the Blantons, man. That's, that's the only request. Uh, oh, the day I get you bland. Oh, I have a I have a bourbon for you. Okay. I want you to go find Colonel Taylor's. Colonel Taylor's small okay, batch. Okay. Yes, All go right. find that. I don't know if I can find it in Ohio. Yeah, I, you probably can. Hard enough to come by. 
Blend, yeah, uh, like six dollars a bottle or something. But well, that's fine. It's well worth it. Trust me. Right. It, it's it's fucking amazing. My and bottle Buffalo isn't Trace that good. Really my good. bottle isn't that good. Buffalo Trace <laughs> is still pretty good. Yeah. No BS. Uh, Buffalo Trace is solid. Yeah, but Colonel Taylor's is my new favorite now. Forty dollars. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So, hey, do you know if uh, Phil beat Nate? I do not. Pretty sure they were Would playing. you like me to go find it? Wait, wait. I don't wait. know if there's. Nathaniel the Moore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nathaniel Moore won. Okay. Wow. He beat, he beat Luke Carrington. Oh, oh, Phil well, played, uh, oh, Phil played, uh, Bethel. Jason Bethel. He was on the stream earlier with, uh, with yeah, I thought those two played. Uh, okay. So. His win condition is to kill Nim, right? Uh, well, Daniel's in a rough spot here. Did he slam? No. Okay, because he needs to shoot to stay alive. And yeah. there's Nim running away. How much uh, HP left on Nim? Uh, two. Okay, two. Yeah, that's fine. So. He's got, what, a shield and a hall? Two hall on Miranda. Nims two hall? Hi- okay. I can't see the I numbers. Mean, Nims the higher count for Marcos, right? Yeah. yeah. No, uh, Nims Miranda is at... Um, it's a target lock? Marcos, is that that is? Nim, what's his no, point total? Let's uh, measure from range. Uh, 49, 49. 50 yeah. and Daniel's Miranda? 41. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, He's got to get both shields. Nine minutes left. It's down in the bottom right corner, Mystic, if you can see it. Miranda does recover a shield. Ooh, obstructed. Uh, yeah, Marcos has been rolling really well on defense, too. Really well. Daniel, in the meantime, has not been rolling at all. Oh, he's taking me out to dinner afterwards. He better do well, otherwise he'll just be <laughs> pissy all night. Target lock. And then, yeah. Wow. Yep. No damage. That is disgusting. Does he regen just for the ignorance? Nope. Does it look like he's doing it? Oh, so C3PO can guess one here. Or zero. Yep, taking one. Taking two. Nope. How many were at this event today, do you know? Uh, 120 something. Uh, does he have shields left on Miranda? He's got one shield left on his Miranda. Oh, goodness gracious. I hate Miranda. <laughs> I hope they both kill each other. Simultaneous fire, roll your two dice. Oh. Mm. Seven minutes left. Daniel's goal is still just to kill Mark. Oh my god. Three just to kill him. Yeah. Drop a bomb here. Why not? Oh, he didn't drop. He's, he's missed that a couple of times. He's going to take two TLTs here. Oh, wait. Yeah. It's going to be real bad. Oh, this is an intense game. Yep. They're all... Maybe not. Just keep the obstruction nope. in focus. Yep. Yeah. I think it's out of range. Oh, goodness. Miranda versus Miranda. This is awful. <laughs> oh, crap. That's Gordon. Your Facebook messenger is loud. Sorry. Allow me to... <laughs> Quit buying such super sensitive mics. Here, let me mute my phone. Sorry. Oh, that... There's Fran- like Franch is texting me. Hey, what's going on? I'm surprised he didn't come up. Uh, he, well, now that he's married, he has to figure out when and where to spend his wife points, and <laughs> I think uh, this was a, a bridge too far. Tell me I said, or, oh my goodness, tell him I said congratulations. That's was married. That's wonderful. So, Marcus is getting a shield back from Rand as well. In the meantime, doing a damage, C3PO1, and taking another damage. So, Miranda's down to two shield. Or uh, two hall, rather. Drop the bomb, what, Daniel? Damn it. Do it. Damn, Daniel, drop the bomb. Drop the bomb, damn it. <laughs> drop the bomb. Come here. Drop it. Reckon he goes one forward here to avoid the bomb, what? I don't know if that does. It'll be close. Uh, that'd be, that's fine for Daniel. He doesn't, I mean, he's not taking shots from Miranda that time. But, you know, simultaneous fire. Drop the bomb. 
didn't do it. No. Nope. Oh man, he needed to drop there, man. Yeah. I, I, I think he's uh he's X winged out for the day. Yeah, that's fair. This will be maybe a hard three in. What do you nah. think? Nah. Make it range one. Oh, that bomb would have hit. Too. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. There's no slamming away from that. Hard two. Eighty barrel roll. All right. Line. So. Um, Taking two he TLTs wants here. He wants TLTs. Yeah. That'll kill him. Yep. Ooh. He has C3PO, and he's going to be able to regen. He just has to be able to roll well here. Who has 3PO? I know yeah, that. Has Miranda. I know that, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Regenerating shield, two. Nim takes one. Come on, Daniel. Come on, Daniel. Who's biased? I just want to see him take a ship off the board. Yep, that'll do it. Nim gets the fire back, though. So, uh, simultaneous combat. Miranda takes one. Oh, crap. I just I just killed Daniel's Miranda. Whoops. Did you foreshadow? Uh, hopefully not. Oh, crap. Two. She took a shield, so it's taking one more. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Yep, good game. That's good. <clears throat> he did. Uh, he did. He did take Nim though. Oh, that was tough. Really tough matchup. 